Hi everyone, welcome to today's math session. Today we are going to discuss about probability. What do you mean by probability? Probability shows chances. What is the relation between mathematics and chances? How can we connect mathematics and chances? In everyday life, we come across statements. First one, uh, it will probably rain today. Second, I doubt that he will pass the test. Third one, most probably Alina will stand first in the annual examination. The fourth one, chances are high, the price of diesel may go up. Fifth one, there is a 50-50 chance of India winning today's match. The words probably, doubt, most probably, chances, etc. used in these statements involve an elements of uncertainty. The first example, probably rain means it may rain or may not rain today. We are predicting rain today based on our past experience when it rained under similar conditions. Similarly, in second example, he may pass test or may fail. The third case, Alina may stand first in exam or may not. In the fourth case, Price of diesel may go up or may remain as it is. In the fifth case, India may win a toss in today's match or may not. <laughs> Students, just have a look our example of probability from everyday life. Now, consider the coin. It has two faces, tail and head. If you toss the coin, then it may be head or it may be tail. Now consider another example of dice. A dice has overall six faces. One, two, three, four, five, six numbers are marked on each face. After throwing a dice, six chances of outcomes occur. This given six different result. These are the example of probability. Now probability started gambling. It has been used extensively in the field of physical science, commerce, biological science, medical science and weather forecasting etc. Now we are going to discuss about terms in probability. So let us introduce the certain terms used in the theory of probability. A random experiment. An experiment in which all the possible results are known in advance. But None of them can be predicted with a certainty is called a random experiment. For example, we know that on a dice, 1 to 6 numbers are written. After throwing a dice, randomly one of the number comes up. This is called advanced non-result. But exact number cannot be predicted with a certainty. This is a random experiment. Next is outcome. The result of a random experiment is called an outcome. After tossing, a coin either head or tail will come up. This head or tail is called outcome. Next is event. A set of all favorable outcome is called an event and is denoted by capital letters. For example, if two coins are tossed, then the sample space HH, HT, TH and TT. So number of sample space equal to 4. And let A be the event of getting exactly one head. Then we get A equal to HT and TH. So number of A equal to 2. And note that here there will be no possibility for two head or two tail. If you ask to find the probability of same event, then it can be calculated with the help of formula. Probability equal to number of favorable outcome divided by total number of outcome. So that means number of A divided by number of S equal to 2 by 4, that will be 1 by 2. Consider one more example. 
A bag contains some uh, red marbles and blue marbles. You have to find the probability of red marbles and also you have to find probability of blue marbles. So number of uh, red marbles here 7 and the blue marbles are 5. So total outcome is here 7 plus 5 12. So probability of red equal to favorable outcome by total outcome. So that is equal to 7 by 12. Then probability of blue marbles equal to 5 blue marbles are there. So 5 by 12 that is the answer. Now we will discuss some important points of probability. Suppose when you roll the dice what is the probability of getting 7? That's right. P of 7 equal to 0 because it's not possible to get a 7. Why? Dice has only numbers from 1 to 6. So probability of getting 7 equal to 0. In such situation you can call as an impossible event because it is not possible to get the number 7 on a dice. Next, when you are roll the dice, what is the probability of getting a number less than 10? Yes, the probability is going to be 1 because number of favorable outcome is 6 and also total outcome is 6. So, the probability is going to be 6 by 6 that is equal to 1. So, 1 or 100 percentage, this is called sure event or certain event. So, in this situation, number of favorable outcome is equal to total outcomes. As you can see from this, the range of probability is 0 less than or equal to P of E less than or equal to 1. And note that it is not possible to have a probability less than 0 or greater than 1. When you roll the dice, the probability of getting 5, P of E equal to 1 by 6. Let me ask you, what is the probability of not getting a 5? So, the probability going to be 5 by 6. This is denoted by P of E bar. So, P of E bar equal to 5 by 6. Why? This is not getting the number 5. So, the event 5 not happening. So, this is called complement of the event. So, here from this, E and E bar are the complementary events. Now, if you look here, probability of the event E plus probability of event E bar equal to 1. From this, P of E bar equal to 1 minus P of E. This is a very important result. Now let's take a look at deck of playing cards. A deck of playing cards contain 52 cards and there are 4 suits of 13 cards each. Spade, diamond, hearts and clubs. The spade and clubs are the black cards and the diamond and heart are the red cards. Each suit has the number cards 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And then you have Jack, Queen, King and Ace cards. Now let me shuffle this deck of cards so that the cards get randomly mixed up. So what is the probability of getting a diamond from a well shuffled deck of cards. So here we can use the formula probability of an event equal to number of favorable outcome by total number of outcome. So what is the total outcome here? That's right 52. What is the number of favorable outcome? It's going to be 13 because the deck of cards contain 13 diamond cards. So the probability of getting diamond is going to be 13 by 52 which is equal to 1 by 4. Now, let me ask you if you have pick up the cards from a 
will shuffle deck of cards what is the probability of getting a king yes that's right the probability is going to be 1 by 13 because the number of favorable outcome 4 and the total outcome is 52 so which is going to be 4 by 52 that is 1 by 13 now let's shuffle the deck of cards again now if you pick up a card what is the probability of not getting a diamond? That's right. The probability not getting diamond equal to 3 by 4. To make it easy, use the formula P of E bar equal to 1 minus P of E. That is 1 minus 1 by 4 equal to 3 by 4. Discuss the topic about probability, the important concepts, the definition of probability, where we are using probability. Then the P of E equal to number of favorable outcome by total number of outcome. The types of events and the range of event. And we learn about deck of cards.